Hi, this is Jonathan, and welcome back. This is text tutorial number eight, customizing your table of contents. This video is a little bit more difficult, but I think it's a practical thing, um, and I should have actually included this with the original creating a table of contents video. But uh, anyway, let's get started with our template. I'm going to open it, and if you get lost, just look for begin document. That's sort of your sign, your indicator for uh, where we're going to begin. Everything below begin document is your main content. Everything above is your packages and uh, just your header, as I call it. Anyway, if we're going to change the table of contents title, let's take a look at what it is, first of all. Let's typeset this. The first typeset creates this TOC file, which references the page numbers and creates the contents title. The second typeset will actually populate the table of contents with our sections. So I've added a subsection and a uh, section. Here's the subsection, your first document. Okay, um, notice we have dots from the subtitle to the page number but not from the section to the page number. If you wanted to add that, I'm going to go over that later. Um, but right now, let's take a look at this title. Let's say we're writing our paper in German, and contents is obviously English. We would like to change that. Let's uh, use this package. It's called the Polyglossia package. And the way it works is you, once you add the package, you are given a new command, set main language. And then here are some parameters, which you can read about in the PDF for Polyglossia. And then in the curly braces, we have German. Now if I typeset this, you'll see that the contents will change to the German word for contents in high school typings. And um, now, that's one way to do this. What if this doesn't suit your needs? Well, delete this. And because I switched the language, I'm just going to delete all of this. Let's start over. Okay. We're going to add a new package. This package is called the TOC LOFT package. Table of contents, list of tables, and list of figures package. There we go, here's the package. And this package is designed specifically for customizing your table of contents. You could do several things. You could change, let's back up a little bit. You could change the font style of the title. You could change the font style of the, the individual section, subsection. You can change the dots to another symbol if you want dashes. Um, you could also make it narrower between um, the left and between the right. You can, I mean, you can change the font. There's all kinds of things you can do with this package. I'm just going to show you a few examples. I'm going to add dots between the sections and the numbers. So let's have a look at the uh, manual for this. This says, the TLC package provides a means of specifying the typography of the table of contents, TLC, list of figures, LOF and list of tables LOT. How does it work? Well, it adds some convenient commands to uh, adjust this without having to deal directly with LaTeX code. Of course, the LaTeX experts don't need this package. They can just adjust the code uh, using all their all the LaTeX inherent commands. But we're going to use um, a few commands listed here. For example, changing the titles. It says the, the title texts are stored in these commands. So by default, they take the default LaTeX commands, like contents, for example, and store it in this variable. If we would like to change that variable, we would have to go to our document and type backslash renew command. The command we wish to renew, which would be content name and then well, how we want to name it, which we can say table of contents, which is a practical example. And uh, let's see, it's content with an S name. Okay, and let me comment this out. We'll do one thing at a time here. Make sure this is after you have the package inserted, otherwise you'll have an error. Set it twice, and there we go, table of contents. So we've successfully changed the title. Now, if we would like to, like I said, add dots between here and here, what we're going to do is renew another command called CFT section leader. And uh, if we look at the, the uh, tutorial or the PDF for this, 
package, let's go down to um, uh, basically the way this works is it's set up with every command has CFT in the beginning, then the middle is what it is that you're changing and then what part of it do you want to change. So in this case we want to change the dots and the set is the actual separation between dots so from here to here which is actually by default one u and that's actually stored in a variable and I'll show you that variable here the variable is right here cft.set that's actually the default value one mu so you can actually replace this with a two two centimeters or something like that but we're not going to do that and um, this is the command we're changing the dot fill command so we're changing dot fill of the section leader to one mu and um, we are also going to say what the dot is supposed to be we're going to use a period he types at this indeed we will have the periods perfect so we have points now, if we wanted to change that to, I don't know, let's say not a copyright, but uh, yeah, a check mark. We could do this as long as it's in the font. Yeah, so now we have check marks. Yay. Okay, that's not very practical, but you could switch it to dash, for example. Maybe you want that. Okay, um, one more thing. If you want to change the font, all you have to do, same procedure, find the command that you, that, that controls the actual font, which is located somewhere around here. Mm, CFT font controls the appearance of the title. So, CFT, I think it's CFT title font. So we're going to do renew command. CFT title font. And then after that, we can switch it and make it huge, for example, and typeset this and see how it looks. Okay, I did something wrong. Let me see. We have to find the command first. I'm pretty sure this is what it's called. So you have to title a font. No. CFC title font. Oh, COC title font, of course. TFC, TOC title font. It's huge. And we should. There we go. And it changed the title font to huge. Okay, that's how you customize it. If you would like to customize anything else, just download this document. It's called COCLOFT.PDF. I rename them all with the package so I can find them easier. Uh, and these are all your commands on the left side here in the left margin and you just have to renew them if you want to change them. It's quite convenient and I, I hope this helps you to customize your document and I'll see you next time. Bye.